One way Cone Health prepares for the future of healthcare is to be lean. We'll explain what that concept is all about. Plus, we'll show you the latest way that Cone Health cares for our community. Those stories and more in this month's Code View. Often we do things because, well, we've always done them. This team seeks to change that. This group is called an inpatient flow value stream team. They are looking at the journey a patient takes through Wesley Long Hospital from the time they are admitted until the time they leave. We want to accomplish um, all that we possibly can for our patients' families, to have a great work environment for our staff and for providers, and create um, reduced cost to improve our processes and to have uh, improve our quality of what we do here. The team is using what is called the lean method. Everything that happens to the patient is posted on the wall and examined. The goal is to eliminate waste and create a better patient experience. Lean is not a do it once and you're done effort. It is a new cultural direction for Cone Health. We want to embed lean thinking and lean methodology into our culture so that all our employees and our leaders and our providers are thinking first, how can we design processes with the patient in mind so that we're eliminating waste, we're making them as efficient and patient friendly as we possibly can from the very beginning. Five areas will be examined across Cone Health using the lean process this year. Employees who work in those areas will play a major role in making them lean. Why is it that you can't always find IV poles and modules for new patients? They head off to be cleaned and don't always seem to make it back. A team at Wesley Long Hospital has an interesting solution to that problem. Clean the IV pole, pumps and modules in the rooms between patients. So we don't even have to take them off the floor anymore. We can bring them straight to the patient right when we need them. So there's prompt uh, pumps and modules for this patient right when we need them. The equipment pilot project found there is plenty of equipment at Wesley Long. It tends to collect on units where it is not immediately needed. Another part of this effort is for units to report what equipment they have to the service response center. Congestive heart failure sits near the top of conditions that bring patients back to the hospital. This heart failure clinic at Alamance Regional Medical Center opened last month. The staff helps patients understand their treatment plan. When they leave the hospital, their meds are changed sometimes, they're overloaded with information, they have multiple other health issues, it's not just this, and they're confused when they go home. Sometimes they're not sure what they're supposed to take. The goal is to help patients better manage their health problems and avoid return trips to the hospital. Cone Health wants to help you eat healthier. Starting later this month, red, yellow, and green labels will be on foods to help you select the healthier items. Cafeterias will add additional meatless selections on Mondays and shut down the fryers on Fridays. You know, we know as a healthcare system why good nutrition, what that can do for prevention of chronic disease or managing chronic disease and overall wellness. And so um, we really want to make that commitment to our culture of, of wellness and making nutrition and, and food be a part of that. Fryers across Cone Health will be replaced next year by special high temperature ovens. These ovens will be able to crisp the outside of foods much like a fryer does. Cone Health has joined 20 organizations in providing resources for people who have been abused or are the victims of domestic violence in our community. Later this month, Cone Health sexual assault nurse examiners will open a satellite office in the new Guilford County Family Justice Center. People who have been abused don't always go to a hospital. One of the things that the district attorney actually, uh, a DA said to me along the way is said, wow, to have that nurse on site to take those photographs and allow those to be done with the right equipment by a trained professional really helps bolster that case when we talk about offender accountability and prosecution and taking a case to trial. So that is such a critical component. Johnson expects to see 30 to 40 victims of abuse a day in the new Family Justice Center. That's this edition of Code View. We'll see you next time.